Good Tuesday morning. I hope each of you is having a wonderful week. And as we are entering this third week of Lent, I want to share with you a story from the artist Reverend, Reverend Liesel Gwen Garrity. And she writes, in my early 20s, in the midst of too many life transitions to navigate at once, and a personal crisis that deeply unraveled me. I called an old friend who happened to live in the new city I had just moved to. I don't remember what I said exactly, but the friend sensed, sensed instantly that I needed more than just a phone conversation. She invited me to meet her at the park near her apartment. We went on a walk, and as the daylight waned, she said, would you like to stay for dinner? I'll never forget the way she warmed the homemade soup from her refrigerator and fixed me an arugula salad. She dressed it with olive oil and lemon juice and to my surprise added a pinch of salt and a shake of pepper. Like manna in my desert, that meal nourished me at a time I did not think I was worthy of being fed. The prophet Isaiah, in Isaiah chapter 55, verses 1 through 9, brings a message of good news to the Israelites. Though they have been in exile for so long that perhaps they have forgotten there is a story behind scarcity. Through Isaiah, God invites them into an abundant life, rich with food that is free and waters that satisfy. In this text, there is no doubt that God's expansive mercy is abundant. The only question for the Jewish exiles and for each of us is, are you ready to be restored? Can you believe you are worthy of God's nourishing grace? Will you allow yourself to receive it? And I love this story for many reasons. <clears throat> Excuse me. But mostly because I am typically the one on the would you like to stay for dinner side. I love to be there for my friends. Be there for my family. Feel like I can help in even just the slightest way. I don't like to see them sad. I'm not saying that. But if I can do anything to help someone, if they are busy, lighten the load. If they are overwhelmed, take something off their plate. If they are feeling lost in a new city, give them comfort. Whatever it is, I am more than happy to be the friend, to be the family member, to be the one that could do that but I struggle to be on the receiving end. I struggle to remember that sometimes I need to be restored. Sometimes I need to remember I am worthy of God's nourishing grace and allow myself to receive it. And I would guess to say I'm not the only one out there who struggles with that. I would guess to say that there are quite a few of us that oftentimes love to give. But we also have to remember we cannot pour out of an empty cup. We also must receive in order to continue to give. And thankfully, God does not get frustrated with us or disappointed in us for not always remembering to stop and allow him to restore us. Just continues to try until we finally realize we are so blessed and so lucky to have such a loving father. So I pray that this week, not only will you be there for others, who may need your love, who may need your grace, who may need your friendship. 
but that you will also know you are more than worthy of God's nourishing grace. Allow yourself to stop and receive it. I hope you have an amazing week and I will see you back next Tuesday.